Well, you know, as a man of the people, you, you guys have spoken, and I will continue to play this amazing mod, a very British Civil War, and I'll keep up my long-standing belief of not trying to do a British accent, because I will probably offend people. And today, I'm going to play as her Kernal. I probably should look up the pronunciation of that too. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, it's Kerno, not Kernal. Well, hopefully. I kind of like Kernal better. It has a cool ring to it, but I'll call it Kerno because I'm pretty sure that's what it's actually called. <laughs> Okay, event, event, event. I guess I probably should f find the event about Kerno. And I guess we defy the truce, too. Because last time when we honored the truce, things didn't work out too well. Okay, that's that's good. Thank you. Civil War has started, and we have a focus tree today. Last time, I made a big I made a big mistake, and I chose a nation that didn't have the focus tree, even though they were all clearly listed on the like special nations page, which one had focus trees and which one didn't. Oh well, no, this focus tree doesn't look like there's too much going on. Oh wait, oh here it is. Here it is. Fish and chips with Franco. Nice. Brunch with Benito, springtime strudel with Mr. Mustache Man. Wow, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this is this is the best focus tree ever. We better make sure that the Bishop of Truro has been cooed. <laughs> that is so good. The Fat King. This is like the best focus tree ever already. I give this an 11 out of 10. I know I, I was giving stuff like 10s out of 10s in that one crossover video or whatever, but 11 out of 10 for this focus tree. Yeah, <laughs> oh, this is amazing. This is just army so we can ignore that anything good here One off map civilian factory two civilian factories there. We might start off with that one How many civilian factories do we even have? Oh, we only have one state. We're not looking so good right now Okay, so and three there so we'll probably take the civilian factories first To be fair, that's it's just kind of necessary when you can only use one civilian factory. We have our cool general, Robert Victor Walling, Walling, something like he's a defensive doctrine. That sucks. And we have this guy, Clive Byrne, pretty cool. Rush to Exeter. Maybe we can actually get something from this war. Yes, Cornwall will, will rise. Do we have planes? Oh yes, we have planes. Attack Exeter. Or maybe not. Maybe it's probably not a good idea to mass attack into Exeter. We probably aren't getting anything out of this civil war anyway. We will not get any war score. Unfortunately, I'm like 90% sure that we'll get zero war score. Well, we'll get war score. You know, just like minimal amounts of war score. We might not get anything out of this first war, but trust me, we will facilitate the great rise of Cornwall. Wait, why did they get it? Why did they get it? Why did the Anglican League get it? Eh. So let's go over here and try to like take some important city or something. See, look at those divisions! Oh, everybody's giving us help. I didn't even notice. I should have been accepting that help. Royalists have capitulated. Now we will deal with Oswald Mos Mosley, ourself. The great nation of Kerno needs no help. Sure, we'll get non-aggression packs with all of you. I, I don't plan on going to war with them anytime soon. They're pretty overpowered. I could not even beat them as, you know, our good friend Winston. So I don't know about beating them as um, Kerno. I guess maybe we can bring in our, you know, planes. Maybe we can help out. Or maybe there's no airbase that we can even operate from. That city. Oh. We'll paint it. What? What's our color? We'll paint it. Well, just black and white. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not as exciting. It's probably already pretty much black and white. Coal and tears. How much war support do we have? 5%? Like, okay. As long as we're doing our part, right? As long as we're helping the good old rebellion against Mosley and whoever. Game of Thrones? Wait, what? The bards have long sang songs of this day, but now it is time to declare us a kingdom once more. Call the bishop. We must have a king. Yes, nice. That's cool. What event do we need to do again to- oh, that's not our focus tree. <laughs> yeah. We need to- the bishop of Truro needs to be cooed. Or he coos the nation, yeah. 
So as sovereign nations, Kurno must have a king to rule. Granted, we have been a democracy for so long, but it is sometimes nice to spice things up, isn't it? Yes, yeah, somebody gets it. And there are many disappointed royals waiting for a shot at the throne of a nation. And what better than the kingship of Kurno? Let us call all those European chaps who want to have a shot at ruling our nation to come to Truno in two weeks' time, and let us go on from there. How do you even say this for sure? True, Ro? I don't know. It's like a game show. Who will rule? Frederick von Halsrong arrives? Okay, somebody guten tag, oh, sure. <laughs> we're, we're busy, we're, we're, we're sorry, we're too busy, um, we're busy waiting for the bishop to coup us. <laughs> Frederick von Wetten? No clue. Here's to hoping we have enough food. Oh, is he like, you know, the, um, oh, that's still not our focus tree. The Fat King. The Royalist Feast. It is time to begin the greatest part of the election. As many possible kings of Kurno gather around the table, including Carmaine the Janitor from Penance, Lord Stammertung from the court at Bodmin, and some chap I bumped into in the mess hall, Bernard. Yes, everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody's welcome to join the game show. I'm in the game show too, shaky, you know, I'm the new king of Cornwall. Whoa, no, I didn't, what? I, I didn't even read the event. Was there only one option? Oh, I can go check the video. Oh, I can read it from the video, and then I can just pause the video on a still frame. Oh, that's such a genius idea. There were two options when I went back and examined the footage. Maybe, can I, like, Alt F4? Is that, like, save scumming or something, I believe? I don't, I don't, I don't know, but it's necessary, okay? It's necessary. Nope, nope, the game is- the game is too quickly saved. Um, okay, well, well, I'll just, you know, hurry- we can hurry and do this again. We can hurry and fix- fix everything. You know, we have to have fish- fish and chips with Franco or else this is- this is ruined. <laughs> okay, so we actually get to choose between Ahnsalm or Wetton, and I don't know, maybe we can still coup the government either way, actually, but yeah. Let's just go with that guy. Okay, we'll empower the bishop, too. <laughs> Going down this path might have unforeseen consequences. Okay, so I guess it doesn't really matter who we chose. Okay, and even with, like, 5% war score, we still don't get anything, unfortunately. So, well, at least we made it out of the war with only getting one division encircled. That was, that was kind of a weird thing that happened there. Okay, yay. Happy bread distribution day. So the bread distribution service begins as the royal coat of arms of the king's house is torn down from the streetlights as they are replaced with the bishop's own coat of arms. The flags are hoisted high and soldiers wait in anticipation of the next stage of the plan. Okay, so as the service comes to a close, the final thank yous were mumbled. The king begins to rise and make his way down the aisle. As the two altar boys open the main door, the king is suddenly met with the sight of a 30-odd militiamen pointing their guns at him. The bishop slowly makes his way down the aisle, clapping as he walks. Yes, see, this 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 guy knows how to be a proper bad guy. You have to do the you have to do the clapping as you walk towards the good guys. <laughs> now we're led by ah. Oh, True face of evil. <laughs> yeah, the dramatic clapping. That, that I, I give. They, he gets my thumbs up for that dramatic clapping. Nice. The people have elected a king, a foreigner over me, Bernard, a true and honest Cornishman. Oh, so we can like have Bernard, like this, you know, honest, nice guy, become king. Or okay, sorry, sorry, Bernard. Not, not today. We have to have our fish and chips. Okay, now hopefully somehow doing the, the, all these events, you know, gives gives us ultimate power. Uh, hopefully they'll send us help because we're pretty weak compared to most of the English countries. So let's let's fish and ships with Franco at last. Ah, uh, España, beautiful beaches, scorching heat, and the eternal hate for the English tourists. Okay, well, oh wait, and even though they're just recovering, okay, so this is after the Spanish Civil War, yeah, I guess. Okay, so a lunch meal with Franco. As the plane flies high above the city of Burgos, two Spanish aircraft begin to escort the bishop's plane down to the airfield. The plane lands on the airfield, and Bishop is met by Franco himself. Hands are shook, kisses exchanged, and the, the move towards the lunchroom begins. Franco laughs, following a joke from the bishop. The couple enter a grand hall, and and they're they're, they're friends. They 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 eat dinner, and now now they're friends. And this 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 is the be most blessed. <laughs> Response ever fish makes Franco happy. Yes, 
Thank you, blessed event. 500 of units of com commandeered arms are added to the nationals. That was kind of underwhelming, but okay. Well, it's better than nothing. Maybe Benito will have something better. <laughs> Brunch with Benito. Uh, that, that's, uh, you, you don't get enough blessed events these days. Okay, well, and the Yorkus front's getting crushed, but more importantly, you know, we're, we're on a trip to Rome for for brunch, I guess. So, you know, the sun beams down over Rome as a small Cornish plane lands on an airfield just outside of Rome. As the bishop walks out, he's greeted by a beaming Benito Mussolini who quickly shakes his hand, taking his hat off in the process. The bishop is welcomed into Il Duce's car as the Fiat speeds off towards the city of Rome with the wind in the bishop's hair, of which there isn't much, though considerably more than that on Duce's head or uh, The car makes its way around a few sharp corners, a joke from the bishop about how all roads lead to Rome. Ah! So I don't know, that looks like they're eating stuff. I, I'm, I'm not gonna read it all. You, you can pause and read it if you want to. Thousand units of... Okay. Hey, strudel with her Hitler. <laughs> Even before the plane enters German airspace, all squadron of Luftwaffe flanks the bishop's airplane, directing the pilot through the fog that lies in Berlin. Wow, so so majestic. I guess same same thing, pretty much. They, they play charades. Wow. Okay, what, what? I guess that's that's okay. Panzerkampfwagen one. Okay, sure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, thanks. I guess. I feel like I feel like we're still lacking in a means to defeat the Anglican League. They they easily have like at least thirty or forty or something divisions and i guess we're, we're meeting with um the the archbishop of canterbury i guess well, what should we wear the the, the vest or the, this is this in between is it between this vest and this suit i don't know that vest looks pretty rad Let, let's go with that one i've never had to choose you know the leaders you know wardrobe for a meeting in Hoi 4 before. Oh, and even more wardrobe. We can, the top hat or the bowler hat. Oh, you gotta go with the top hat. Yeah, of course the top hat. Okay, Archbishop Cosmo Lang arrives. All that's missing is for King Edward himself to arrive. Okay, that'd be cool. Maybe he can arrive and say that we're the legitimate area. Oh, wait, he does. Wait, he was gonna arrive. I thought that was just kind of like a saying, like, you know, oh, all that's left is for King Edward to arrive. Is that like, I, I was, uh, is that like not actually, uh, that could be a cool saying. How many, sh why am I, why, why is this an event thing? One sugar, oh, King Edward gets mad. Am I like, what, what, what? King Edward, oh, uh, King Edward glares, oh. No, sugar is bad for your teeth. Okay, I guess King Edward does not like sugar. What? What? What is this event, Jane? Just to walk in the park, the business of the tea drinking is complete. There is one thing left to discuss. The bishop is known far and wide in Kerno for his wonderful and well cultivated gardens. After a whole afternoon of oohs and ahs, that one looked like a dog pissed on it. It's the time for the two guests to leave. On the way out, the bishop gave them. These roses look nice today. <laughs> the lily. Okay, let's let's make um who's the leader of the Anglican League? Is that like the bishop guy? I guess we want the bishop guy to be nice, maybe? I don't know. The T War. Oh, what? Oh, it was that slight debacle with like what we chose him. Like, wait, who are the Royalists? Are the Royalists actually still around? Oh yeah, they're right here. And they're a communist puppet. That's great, guys. Thanks for watching this playthrough. I hope you enjoyed. Looks like we're losing to the communists again. I know it happens every time. That is terrible. Yeah, that, that was... We, we should have... Yeah, he's technically not even in charge. Maybe we should have let the peace continue. But yep, that's it. That'll be it, guys. Thanks, thanks. That was great. I hope you enjoyed the fish and chips with Franco. It's a maybe next time. Maybe next time. We've got through all the events. Maybe we can try to do something better. I don't know. Maybe we'll make the truce be enforced. That might be a better idea, honestly, when we're playing as Kerno. But yeah, see you guys next time. <laughs>